All right. First thing, in, in order to remove the spring from the barrel, is you have to take off this movement cap or spring barrel cap because the spring is contained within there. In fact, I can see it through this little opening here that, that it's in there. Now, sometimes these barrels can be warped and misshapen and get these caps back on can be a tricky endeavor. Uh, what you might want to do is you can take a scriber and scribe a line right at the left side or the right side entrance to this opening gap here so you can know how to realign and recenter your cap, uh, the spring barrel cap, uh, back onto the barrel itself because otherwise if you have this twist around the other side you, you might have a difficult time. So once you got that marked and some people don't like to mark their mainsprings because they don't want to make any marks, but once we get done working with them, when we polish them, uh, the mark won't be visible. So I've made a little mark there. Now, in order to remove this cap so we can get to the mainspring, also we'll need a little block wood, but we'll show you what that's all about in a minute, is we would need to take the rubber mallet, take the mainspring in our hand, and tap the arbor on the opposite side of where the cap is. So we just give it a good tap and as you can see it comes off right in my hands. And we reveal inside the mainspring. Also pay, pay mind to which way the spring uh, arbor is connected. So we've got the teeth on this side and the arbor is coming out the side of the plate here. So keep in mind which way it goes because when you put it back together you don't want to be placing this the other way around. Uh, also make note of which way your spring is turning so that you when you go to reinstall it you do reinstall it correctly.